Welcome back everyone, I hope you are doing well. This video is going to cover important parts and it wraps up most of the things about this tutorial series. It's not something breathtaking, actually just a couple lines of code, but it might be something new for most of you, so let's jump into it. We are going to create scenes out of our map details. For now, just focus on this idea. Open scene chunk script inside and GUI add a new button. Ok, let's think of how are we going to do this. Well, in the first three lines I want to get all of the objects I have selected in my project window and then cast them to map data and store them inside an array. And like always, a for each loop to iterate them. We create a scene and store it in a variable. Remember you have to use editor scene manager cause this is a specific to the editor to create a scene and also pass in the empty scene parameter. If you don't, then you get a camera and directional light in every scene that is useless. Change the scene name to map data object name and instantiate the objects of that map data. As a result, they sit in the scene we just created. And at the end, save the scene and done. The procedure inside editor is as simple as the code. Open scene chunk window, leave everything else except the last button which does everything. Don't click on it yet, cause we have not selected any map data yet. So select them inside project window and hit create scene. The scenes are created now, but not usable with our method yet. Why? Because they are not addressable, so select them and make them addressable. Note here that no other objects should be marked as addressables and by others I mean models, prefabs, textures, map data and materials that are related to map. And why is that? Well the scenes that we just marked as addressables are going to access our map models. If they are all in their own bundles then the whole bundle needs to be loaded into memory even if most of the assets in the bundle are not needed. But with addressable scenes, we are telling Unity to only include assets which that scene needs. However, with this method, we definitely get some duplicate textures and models between bundles. For example, bundle map x0y0 includes the texture A and B. The second bundle called map x 1000y0 and it includes texture A and C. So you can clearly see the texture A is duplicated between bundles. The cost here is more disk space but more efficient memory. Also set the group to pack separately so we can load and unload each scene dependently from memory. At the end don't forget to build your bundles. Now we want to load the scenes. For that we need a script to manage it. Create a script called scene loader. This script is very similar to loader script. Here are the variables with a small difference. In the dictionary we have associated positions to async operation handles of type scene instance. And I also changed the name of the dictionary, not a big deal. This is the start method exactly like before and I guess you can remember the is vector tree in area from previous videos. I highly recommend you to watch my previous videos before this one. Now here I load the scene using addressables and on the complete event I add the position and the async operation handle to the dictionary. Now here a question comes to mind. Why didn't I just add the scene to the dictionary instead of async operation handle scene instance? Well, that's because when we want to unload the scene using addressables, we need the original async operation handle to use it to unload the scene. As a result, in the second if, I unload the scene and release the handle. It's very important. And we are done. Now in Unity, attach the script to camera, set up the variables and start the game. It's working fine, however there is an issue behind the scene. To understand it, let's preambulate over the map. Ok, I am at this point. Let's take a look at memory usage in Task Manager and Profiler. Look at what is taking most of the RAM. Scene memory, and if you expand it, you see the meshes are taking a lot. 
And you think why? We just unloaded them using address tables. Well, actually yes, we did. But these are combined meshes created from a static batching system. Right now, I have not found a good solution to solve this issue, other than calling resources that unload unused assets somewhere inside your code. But for future videos, I try to come up with a clean fix. Like always, thanks for watching and I see you next time.